The Dig is a British drama film based on the 2007 novel of the same name by John Preston, which reimagines the events of the 1939 excavation of Sutton Hoo. The film received positive reviews from critics and has received five nominations for the British Academy Film Awards, including for Outstanding British Film. Rotten Tomatoes reports that 88% of 138 critics gave the film a positive review, with an average rating of 7.2 out of 10. This film stars Kristen Wiig and Eddie Mumolo, alongside Jamie Dornan and Damon Wayans Jr., and follows two best friends from Nebraska who travel to Florida on vacation only to become caught up in a villain's plot. Barb and star go to Vista Del Mar is one of the best comedy film of the year so far, it sits at 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. One critic from Empire wrote it's a very different take on female friendship than Bridesmaids, this has future cult favorite written all over it. As bright and breezy as a pair of pastel collats, many critics praised Jamie Dornan's comedic performance and singing, with several saying he was the highlight of the film. This animated fantasy action-adventure film produced by Walt Disney Pictures and Walt Disney Animation Studios so you know it's going to be an awesome film. Raya and the Last Dragon received positive reviews from critics, who praised the animation, visuals, action sequences, characters, voice acting, and messages, while drawing some criticism for the lack of actual Southeast Asian representation among the film's voice cast. The film follows a warrior named Raya who is determined to find the last dragon in a realm known as Kamandra, a reimagined earth inhabited by an ancient civilization. The 2021 director's cut of the 2017 superhero film Justice League, which often referred to as the Snyder Cut. Like the theatrical release, Zack Snyder's Justice League follows the Justice League Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Aquaman, and The Flash, as they attempt to save the world from the catastrophic threat of Darkseid, Steppenwolf, and their army of parademons. Critics praised Snyder's direction and ability to offer more depth to characters, but the film's runtime was criticized which is four hours. Variety stated, no matter how the critics feel about Snyder's film, they all seem to agree on one point, it is superior to the 2017 theatrical version of Justice League. Sun Might Go Down is one of most underrated films of 2021, this horror thriller centers around a young boy who falls ill to a mysterious illness and his mother must decide how far she will go to protect him from terrifying forces in her past. Sun is a great film with a lot of twists that you should add to your watch list. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rating of 71%. The Mortal Kombat films has its share of hit and misses, but this 2021 reboot was a much better film. At first I was hesitant to watching it but after watching the film I was surprised and I actually enjoyed it. The storyline follows MMA fighter Cole Young, who must prepare to stand with Earth's greatest champions to take on the enemies from Outworld in a high-stakes battle for the universe. The film received an audience score of 87% and received mixed reviews from critics. One of the most anticipated films of 2021 Godzilla vs Kong, a sequel to 2019's Godzilla King of the Monsters and 2017's Kong Skull Island. In the film, Kong clashes with Godzilla as humans lure the ape into the hollow earth to retrieve a power source for a weapon to stop Godzilla's mysterious rampages. The film received generally positive reviews from critics, with praise for the visual effects and action sequences, but criticism towards the script and human characters. The film was a streaming hit, becoming the most successful launch item in HBO Max's history. This action thriller stars Bob Odenkirk as Hutch Mansell, while following up on some clues regarding his recent home invasion. Hutch helps a young girl being harassed by a group of men, only to become the target of a vengeful Russian drug lord. 
The film received generally positive reviews from critics, who praised the action and Odenkirk's performance. Packed with brutal fight scenes and amazing action scenes, this is one film you're gonna wanna put on your watch list, if you haven't already.